Goose hunting is an excellent fun, especially if you can do it with friends. There are very few occasions when your family sends you on a hunting trip, but before Christmas these things happen. We are in Hungary, of course, close to a small lake near Budapest in a beautiful winter morning. It is well below zero and the land is covered with fresh snow offering an easy solution for camouflage. A bed sheet or painter's white overall will be just perfect to hide you from the eagle eyes of the geese. Goose is a cautious and clever bird, spots every change in the landscape immediately, so camouflage is a key factor of success. When you are after waterfall, prepare well, occupy your shooting position when it is still dark and wait motionless until the time has come. We are hiding in a line of trees on the side of a wet field. The geese come here every morning from the lake nearby to feed. The first birds are the reconnaissance flying a few hundred meters in front of the group. Then comes the first wave. Never shoot them, wait until they land as they will be the ones to attract the other geese to the field. Geese fly high and fast so they are hard to hit targets, but not impossible even with a 20 gauge double flintlock shotgun. Usually the eye is not used to such large birds. There is a common saying in my country that only discharge your boars when you see their legs. You will also need a large lead, much more than shooting pheasants. Our plans seemed to work, the first groups called in the large waves, but unfortunately our shooting position was just not in their way, so we had to start playing with them to get a chance to shoot. The whistle worked, reconnaissance birds appeared nearly immediately. They were still very high, but after waiting hours in the freezing cold, I just could not help but try two shots. There are debates about what shot is to be used for geese hunting. I am on the traditional side. I use the same 3.5mm shot size, just as I do with hunting other birds. I am not in favor of large shot, as you will have less projectiles and less chance to hit. Whatever you do, the outer limit of geese hunting is around 30-40 meters, and at this distance it nearly does not matter what shot size you have. My load for the Pedder Solid 20 gauge flintlock shotgun is 90 grains of 2F Swiss powder, 1 cm hour powder wad, 33 grams of 3.5mm shot, and a cardboard overshot wad. I prime my lock with Swiss 0B powder to have the fastest ignition possible. Fine priming powder is necessary but not enough. You must have a properly hardened, clean frizzen and sharp stone as well. So never forget to clean your frizzen after each shot and sharpen your stone if necessary. The geese move out to the fields in the morning and return to the lake for drinking later. Between the two movements nothing remains but waiting. This is a time to check your hunting buddies who are just as crazy as you trying to bring down a high flying goose with a front loader. Here's a gem again. Deeply in the forest. Among the bushes a big big male lion buffalo. Be in the desert. Be on, be on the wood. <laughs> That's my longtime friend Alexander with his original Mortimer shotgun, who, if I remember right, never had a serious moment in his life, but that's why we all love him. <clears throat> the afternoon arrived with dense fog, so even if we heard the birds all around us, we just could not see them. Our only chance was to call them in and shoot immediately when we see them. Living. 
one bird out of three shots. I have to say I'm not better with my cartridge shotgun either. Probably because if you use a muzzle loader, you don't waste your shots as easily. That was a great day in the nature, and I was especially happy to bring the goose to the Christmas table of my family. That makes the day complete. So what more can I say? Merry Christmas to you all, my black powder friends all around the world.